What's going on guys, it's Raul TV, Team R4UL, we're back again, back in the garage and what we're doing this time around is nice, easy job for you guys out there. You can do outside the house, you can do wherever you want, it's absolutely easy, easy job. Right, we're going to change the brake pads on a 2013 Mazda 2. That's it, dead easy job, let's go, let's do it. Okay guys, first things first, we're going to go ahead and take the brake fluid cap off, dead easy, anti-clockwise, you can't get that wrong. As you can see there, the fluid is slightly low, okay, it's below the maximum, just above the minimum, right, the thing is, the reason why it's low is because the brake pads have gone low, right, so obviously the brake pads have gone low, the, the pist piston, the caliper has been pushed in, the brake fluid has gone with it as well. So when what one misconception is right what what people do is because the fluids gone low they'll top it up with fluid not a good idea what you do is you top reason why your uh, fluids gone low is because it's either you got a leak or your brake pads are low or something like that so make sure you check the brake pads check if you've got a leak we'll go from there thing is once you push push the uh, piston pistons back the brake fluid should ri rise up and happy days everything should it should be okay all right guys brake pad replacement it's not rocket science it's absolutely dead easy all we do is obviously we've took the wheel off right brake fluid cap is off we're gonna take that one off which i've just cracked there take this one off some of the cars you don't even have to take the top one off you can just take the bottom one off and swing it up uh, this one you have to take both of them off so take that one off And take that off now all we do is just pry this caliper off if I can with one hand use the spanner instead of a pry bar or a screwdriver there we go that's off as you can see there the brake pad is totally totally dead brake discs the rotors I think we can, we can just get away with them we'll just give them a sanding down and happy days job done let's do it as for the brake pads we just flick them off screwdriver or a spanner whatever you got just flick them brake pads off you can see a little gap there and that's it right the next job for us guys is what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the piston back in the caliper piston back in you can do that with a brake wind back tool or you can just get some big dogs like I've got here and just basically just push it in all the way in might need to readjust the clamp so that's on its maximum as you can see there right so readjust it push that piston all the way back in and uh, refit the pads all right to put the pads in guys it's I've already got the back one on the front one I thought I'll show you guys because I can't really show you on the back one around the back there so the front one is exactly the same as putting the back one the inner one on we get it lined up can you see there's a little groove there one minute let me just zoom in a little groove there and a little groove there right a little cut out there just about there and there right so we need the pad to sit right there like that and on the bottom as well like that so once it's there like that in that angle all we do is just push it push the top push the bottom Happy days. Brake pad is on. What you could do, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to put some copper grease on there. Not on the inner bit, on the outside, that is. Put some copper grease on there. Copper grease on there. If you don't want to, you don't have to, because let's face it, when it comes out from the factory, they don't have any copper grease on, right? But you can do, you know, it'll, be, it'll, it'll stop it from squeaking and, uh, and things like that. So copper grease there. Another top tip is make sure these sliders are nice and free this slider this one here as you can see they're nice and free make sure they're nice and free if they're sticking it'll mess the brakes up okay guys the caliper is back on yep obviously loose i've got the bolts back on so uh, what i'm going to do now is bang them two bolts back on one there and 
one on the bottom. Tighten them up, put the wheel back on, and let's move on to the other side. Hey guys, this side is done. I'm gonna do the other side as well. Get that other side done. As you can see, I put a bit of copper grease in there. Like I mentioned, you don't have to put copper grease if you don't want to, but I have. Uh, wheels back on. I wanna make sure, double check it on the floor. It's tight and everything with a strong arm. And then happy days, that's done. Once it's on the floor, check the brake fluid reservoir. If it needs a bit of topping up, top it up. If not, put the cap back on. Pump the brakes. Make sure you pump the brakes because if you don't pump the brakes and you go out driving the car, the first time you press the brakes, you're gonna have you're not gonna have no brakes at all. Right, make sure you pump the brakes nice so it's nice and hard and uh, you've got a nice pedal. And uh, that's about it, dead easy, dead easy job. Uh, all I'm gonna say is guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you wanna know anything about this car, any other car, I'll try my best to answer you, you guys. Uh, I hope this video helps you guys out. If it doesn't help you guys out, um, peace and blessing, I'm sorry. And yeah, and I'll see you guys soon. Good.